Hi there, in today's video we're gonna talk about the absolute ceiling of your aircraft. By the end of this video you will know what the absolute ceiling is, what is the difference between the absolute ceiling and the maximum operating altitude of your plane. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotClan.com. I'm a training captain on the Boeing 737 and I help you to become a better pilot. So if you don't want to miss the next content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Alright, without further ado, let's jump into the today's topic. The absolute ceiling of your plane is the altitude at which your aircraft will not be able to climb anymore. So basically, the absolute ceiling, once you reach the absolute ceiling, the only thing that you can do is to fly it in a level flight or descend, but you will not be able to climb. But why is that? It's because, as we know, with the altitude the density decreases, and since the density decreases, the lift capability of your plane will get worse a lot, and as well as your engine thrust will be a lot less. So what will happen that when you climb, you climb, you climb, at the beginning your aircraft is actually able to give you a very good rate of climb, let's say 2000 feet per minute, because the air at low, low, at low level is very dense, so you've got a lot of lift produced by the wings, and on top of that, your engines are able, are capable to give you a lot of thrust. So the uh, sum of these two uh, components gives you a very good climb capabilities. However, once you climb to a very high altitude, you will start, you will see that the performance of your aircraft will start to get worse. So your rate of climb will start to reduce. And when you reach the absolute ceiling of your plane, you will not be able to climb anymore. Something that is very important that we understand is that we don't normally fly at the absolute ceiling, okay? The maximum altitude that we fly is the maximum operating altitude of your plane, okay? The maximum operating altitude is a, a lot lower compared to the absolute ceiling, okay? The absolute ceiling is normally tested by the test pilot during the flight certifications, okay? The maximum operating altitude is the lowest of three main altitudes. The first one is the maximum certified altitude by the manufacturer, okay, that normally for the Boeing 737-800 is 41,000 feet. Then if your engine cannot actually give you, because your aircraft maybe is very heavy and the engine cannot give you enough thrust, maybe your maximum altitude is even lower than the maximum certified altitude, okay? And then if you have, uh, depending on your weight, depending on your atmospheric conditions, you may have as well a buffet limit, okay? That if you climb above that altitude, you're gonna have a, a buffet pre-stall or high speed buffet. So depending on your conditions, you're gonna have a maximum altitude that actually is gonna be a lot lower compared to the um, absolute ceiling of your plane. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this short video about the absolute ceiling and I hope you understood the difference between absolute ceiling and the maximum operating altitude of your plane. So if you liked the video, give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel. If you still have any questions about the absolute ceiling or the maximum operating altitude, leave in the comments below a question and I will help you out. I wish you a great day and I'll see you soon.